Welcome everyone to an annihilation edition of Insider Moves. That's right, we're diving headfirst into all things related to the new Call of Duty Black Ops add-on, available June 28th on Game Marketplace. Online director Dan Bunting and design director David Bonderhaar were kind enough to give us a behind the scenes perspective for each of the new multiplayer maps. Now we begin with Drive-In, which took its inspiration from one of Black Ops' most popular maps. Normally in a small map, you, in, in a medium-sized map, it's actually very difficult to create multiple independent battle spaces. But this, in the drive-in, the drive-in movie theater screen is kind of the anchor of that map, and you can even get up on it to see Overwatch on one side, right? So you get this really cool kind of vibe kind of storming over the drive-in screen or outside the edges in these kind of independent, and, and they're even themed, really, for the most part, how, how concrete theme they are for how medium-sized that map is. We were really kind of taking inspiration from Nuketown. Nuketown was a super successful, highly popular map um, within the community. Um, because it's very fast and frenetic, it's a small map, um, you're always going to be in, in a battle within a couple of seconds of spawning. Um, so we wanted to get that kind of feel, but not make it so small, because small maps tend to make uh, very challenging spawning scenarios. And now we move on to Silo, which Dan and David described as Annihilation's rule breaker map where they played with creating a very large, but very fast playing map by experimenting with intersecting sight lines. Now we asked, what are some of the standard rules multiplayer designers keep in mind when designing a map? There's 93 rules. <laughs> so so this, this, the, the rules topic actually, we're not so super hardcore that there's a checklist and you make the map and you're like, yep, you can ship this map. Nope, sorry, go back and redesign. It's not that, it's not that, but there, there's some well-established, pretty well-known conventions about what it means to design the maps, and, and you gotta adhere to these kinds of things, and it's largely a training tool that we're using to kind of keep people on the same page and provide some consistency in the experience, right? We don't, we want you to be in a fight really quickly, but we don't want you to take damage or die within three seconds of spawning. This stuff's hard to actually do in practice, right? Anybody can be anywhere in the map at any given point in time. So the, the rules really, they're guiding principles to, um, for best practices for design uh, lessons that we've learned in the past. And we learn the rules so that we can break them uh, in creative ways. And that's, that's really what we've always set out to do. The, the rules are just there to kind of get people to understand the basic principles of good map design. And um, once, they're, you know, once they've mastered that skill uh, from a designer point of view, then they get really clever and creative about how they break those rules. And that's what makes maps have personality and flavor. And next, we turn our attention to Hazard. There's a really good story behind Hazard, and it, it's a map that started with uh, actually something that the fans asked for, which we gave them, but not exactly what they were thinking. We, right. would, we would do it. I mean, we, uh, from the early days, we knew that we wanted to do one of our favorite maps from World at War, and we love Cliffside. Cliffside in World at War was one of those great maps where it's a community favorite, um, it's got uh, some very unique engagement types, it's a long range engagement map, wide open, kind of bowl shaped in the middle. We completely reimagined it though for Black Ops. Um, it's set in Cuba, it's a very high end luxury kind of golf course um, resort locale. Uh, right on the ocean. We actually rebuilt it with the design in mind and the layout in mind. So there's a lot of similarity to the old map and how it plays. That there's going to be a sense of familiarity with fans, but it is it's very different. It also has its own unique flavor. Next, we tried to pry any information we could from Dan and David regarding the ultra-secretive Hangar 18. I can't talk about Hangar 18. It's classified. <laughs> so Hangar 18, it's, it's a really fun map for us. Um, it's based in the Area 51 uh, setting in Nevada, the uh, government top secret test site. Um, it is, Hangar 18 is the most famous hangar of uh, that area. It's set in Groom Lake. Um, that was the beginnings of the SR-71 program. They start, it started there. The SR-71 plays a big role in the game for the fiction, and uh, we thought it would be really cool to actually fight on that plane and uh, set it in Area 51 because that's, you know, who doesn't love Area 51? It's got a lot of folklore about it. It's got a lot of mystery, a lot of uh, secrecy. 
and a lot of conspiracy theories, and uh, you know, that's fun, and we played with that with the map. It's Hangar 18, it's, it's Area 51, it's, it's Groom Lake, it's Treyarch. <laughs> well, when you put these things together, you're gonna have to go and poke your head around and look around. I think there's one, there's one uh, Easter egg in, it in particular that we had a lot of fun with um, because it, it's a direct nod to something from the community. <laughs> it was a viral video that was made when the game was launched and uh, people have to wait and see what it is. You can't talk about this. What is wrong with you? We hope you enjoyed this preview of all the multiplayer maps for Call of Duty Black Ops Annihilation game add-on. And for everyone that guessed last week's community challenge correctly, never fear, we'll highlight not just one, but a whole lot of you in next week's Insider Moves. For now though, we give to you a final parting gift, a collage of zombie moments collected from the stellar Shangri-La level. Enjoy everyone, and thanks for watching Inside Xbox. Hazard's got a great story. Yeah, we have to talk about the... Yeah, do it. No, I, was, I was telling you. Here, let's oh. try to get... Hazard has a great story. <laughs> <laughs> I teed up the f thing.